Sensible Software was a software house active during the 1980s and 1990s, from the United Kingdom. The company was well known for the exaggeratedly small sprites used for the player characters in many of their games, including Mega Low Mania, Sensible Soccer, Cannon Fodder and Sensible Golf. Early history Sensible Software was formed in Chelmsford, Essex in 1986 by two former school friends, John Hare aka Jovial Jops and Chris Yates aka Cuddly Cricks. After cutting their teeth for nine months at Lieutenant Software in Basildon, Hare and Yates set up Sensible Software in March 1986. Sensible initially released games for the ZX Spectrum and later the Commodore 64, clinching market praise with Parallax, Shoot 'em Up Construction Kit, and Whizball, later to be voted Game of the Decade by ZZAP 64 magazine. At the time, the pair's output was well known among gamers for its high quality and offbeat sense of humor. In 1988, Martin Galway joined the team, and Sensible Software became a three-man partnership. That summer they released Micropro's Soccer, their first venture into association football games. By 1993 there were six staff members. <laughs> 16-bit era Galway left in 1990 to join Origin Systems in the USA, and over the next few years the company swapped the 8-bit machines for the more powerful Amiga and Atari Street, where games such as Mega Low Mania, Sensible Soccer, and Cannon Fodder became classics. With the rise of the 16-bit home console market, Sensible released seven number one hit games, winning numerous industry awards in the process. Sensible's games were ported to a wide range of computing platforms, including MS-DOS, the Mega Drive and Super NES. Decline While Sensible had a strong presence on the machines that dominated the late 1980s and early 1990s, they never really repeated this success on the newer machines such as the PlayStation that came to prominence in the mid-1990s. Their trademark look of cute 2D characters had slipped out of vogue with the advent of cheap 3D rendering abilities and titles such as Actua Soccer and FIFA turned to 2.5D and 3D gradually shoving the Sensible Soccer series into the sidelines despite Sensible's belated attempt to convert the game to 3D in 1998. Sensible Golf, a simple golf video game not a simulation, did not perform well in the market and with most of Sensible's staffing resources having been thrown into sex and drugs and rock and roll, a game that had initially been signed by Warner International Entertainment and subsequently dropped by their purchases, GT Interactive, Sensible's days were looking numbered and the owners were looking for a smooth exit. Though never finished, this final project was discussed in certain sections of the media outside of the game press. It was featured in an independent on Sunday article in the summer of 1997. Two years later in 1999, the pre-rendered music videos, created for the game with animation by Khalifa Saber, were showcased within a feature piece on Ex Machina, a show covering the CG animation scene on, TV. Another cancelled game that was being developed during this final development period was a PlayStation action game titled Have a Nice Day, also known as Office Chair Massacre. Though screenshots of the game have never been released, the title was a first-person shooter, inspired somewhat by the simplicity of Reloaded, a first-generation PlayStation title by Gremlin Interactive. John Hare has spoken about the project in various interviews, but has never discussed the game's content and gameplay features in depth. Aside from the likelihood that the game contained themes as controversial as sex and drugs and rock and roll, in an interview with Total Video Games' Derek De La Fuente, John did mention that the title had hit some technical barriers during its development. 
Sensible were not known to have worked on the PlayStation hardware before, which may have made getting to grips with the console's problematic 3D libraries a huge issue for the inexperienced team. Sensible Software was eventually sold in 1999 to veteran UK games publishers Codemasters and since this date John Hare has maintained a close working relationship with Codemasters designing many games for them including a variety of updates of both Sensible Soccer and Cannon Fodder. Legacy In 2013 book publishers Read Only Memory released Sensible Software 1986–1999. This comprehensive retrospective on the entire history of the company was written by renowned ZZAP, 64 Games journalist Gary Penn in conversational style. It features 19 different contributors including extensive interviews with John Hare and other Sensibles, plus games luminaries of the era including David Darling entrepreneur, Dominic Diamond and Peter Molyneux. Chris Yates declined to be interviewed for the book. Half art book and half retrospective analysis The book is the first of its kind to cover the creative, business and technical issues that shaped the whole era of early games development in the UK and sensible software in particular. The historical importance of this book has been recognised by BAFTA who hold copies in both their library in central London and their historical archive. List of games Topic Literature Penn, Gary, the seventh of October twenty thirteen. Sensible Software nineteen eighty six to nineteen ninety nine. Read only memory. ISBN nine seven eight oh nine five seven five seven six eight oh three.